If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! So in today's episode of Dark Skin Setting Powders, we are going to be taking a look at the setting powders from Prime Beauty. Now Prime Beauty is the brand that gave us the, what is it called? The bronzer? The bronzer, okay? This is the bronzer called Chocolate Liddy. And um, I think a few weeks ago they sent me over two setting powders for me to try out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys through the skin routine really quickly and then we're gonna come onto the powders even though I already have one on my face and I'm gonna you know show we're gonna just go through the setting powders okay so if you want to see what the setting powders are what they're called and how they look like on my skin even though you're looking at one right now then keep on watching <laughs> Okay, you guys, so these are the two setting powders that came in from Prime Beauty. We have the setting powder Bronze Babe and the setting powder Brown Girl. Now, Bronze Babe is that nice, beautiful, rich setting powder. Um, it's a deep setting powder, but it's also a like a brown, rich setting powder. Every setting powder I get, I compare it to my Benign Nutmeg. So look at the setting powders. Bronze Babe looks like it's a deeper, richer, and more brown compared to Ben Night Nutmeg. As much as I've been loving Nutmeg, I have zero problems switching from Nutmeg to the Prime setting powders the, because I really, really love how it looks. I love the richness of it. I like. I love that it doesn't have like a really, really light undertone in it. It's a beautiful brown powder period okay i really like that so the next part i'm going to show you guys is so this is brown girl focus focus so this is brown girl brown girl literally looks like it could be a beautiful setting powder i'm gonna try this on the right side of my face and i'm gonna try bronze babe on the left side of my face so let me go ahead and switch my hands Okay, so Bronze Babe on the right, on the left side of my face and Brown Girl on the right side of my face. Just so we can see what they look like. I'm gonna run through it the same as I do or did my Benign Nutmeg and at the end of the day, I'm gonna brush it off. We're gonna set a face and we're gonna see what it looks like, okay? Okay guys, so now that this side of my face is done, I'm gonna go into brown girl on the other side of my face. I wanna, I don't think I should put brown girl under my eyes. This is brown girl. Brown girl is literally a, brown girl is a foundation shade for me, not a concealer shade. Did you see that brown girl is too deep for me to put on top of my concealer? Uh, I don't want to do it. Brown girl matches my conceal my foundation side. So this side is only foundation and this is brown girl. You see that brown girl is a is a is a foundation shade. I cannot do it. I am sorry. I can't put brown girl under my eyes. It's going to take away what little um, brightness I got going on, okay? 
so what I'm gonna do actually is set the rest of my face with brown girl just gonna set my under eyes with bronze babe and set everything else with brown girl because brown girl is deep it's a foundation shade for me it's the it's my skin tone shade I absolutely love it it's light enough that I can just achieve like a very faint look with it and it's also deep enough that I can also just do a um, like a bacon type situation with it on this side of my face so yeah this is what this looks like let me just get enough under my eyes I have lost a few brushes so just bear with me I cannot find my beautiful brush that I was using for my powder that you guys were asking me about so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of brown girl into the lid of this of the container on days I don't want to wear foundation or even a powder foundation I can use this to um, matte my skin and it would be beautiful because it's like an exact color to my foundation Okay, you guys so this is what this is looking like you can definitely tell that brown babe is giving me almost like bronzer vibes i really really like this powder i am happy that you sent this to me prime beauty this looks really really good i can definitely see myself using this powder i'm at this point going to be switching you guys i have never switch my benign nutmeg for any powder like ever okay i have never switched benign nutmeg for any powder or from what this is looking like i might switch this <sighs> i can't believe it. i'm so nervous right now you have no idea how long i had been waiting and looking and swatching and trying out setting powders for me to be able to find like a good setting powder that balances out my whole makeup and not make my face look too bright or my under eyes look ashy or just like mess up my whole base you know trying to find the right shades or the right colors and all that has been such a priority for me that whenever i found um benign nutmeg i was like i don't want to get rid of nutmeg ever so every powder i get i compare to nutmeg but the way this is looking it's looking like i might have to ditch nutmeg for the prime beauty bronze babe because bronze babe is deeper and richer than um the nutmeg i'm gonna go ahead finish my whole face i'll come back we'll set my face and we'll see exactly what it looks like I really like how it set the Rare Beauty foundation because you guys know the Rare Beauty foundation is not a mattifying foundation. So I always end up makes it, making my face look a bit more glowy. But you can see the powder literally is the shade of my foundation, which is amazing to me, okay? So I'm really excited about this. so this is my finished look using the prime beauty setting powders and let me just locked in loose powder it says keep makeup set and locked in place all day okay i am really impressed with the shade of the setting powder and i absolutely am excited that i actually have a powder that i can set my my foundation with yet again this powder is deep enough that it actually matches my foundation tone or my skin tone and i am here for it it doesn't have any red cast to it it doesn't have any wonky undertones to it and you actually saw i literally just use that in all the places where i have my foundation and I didn't even have to use a contour on my face it's not it's not as deep as a contour no but I just did a reverse contour where I didn't have to apply contour to my face I just used some of bronze babe to you know clean up 
my cheek area to make it look like I put contour on but in actuality I did not put contour on this is it for me if you are someone who's my skin tone and I recommended nutmeg to you and you like to use nutmeg also consider checking out prime beauty's locked in setting powders I am gonna be using the shade bronze babe on my under eyes and using the shade brown girl all over my face as my uh, finishing powder or as the powder that I set my foundation with that is it from me in this episode of dark skin setting powders let me know down below in the comments if you saw anything new today that you might check out aka prime beauty also let me know down below in the comments if these videos are helpful that way i can try to find some more setting powders for us to try out and hopefully be able to use because you know what no matter how flawless your base is the wrong setting powder can ruin your flawless base just like that i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye